Welcome back to another episode, guys. Do us a huge favor, go subscribe, like this video. This week, we explore islands in Rajarampa, dive with thousands of fish, and try foil boarding for the first time. Let's go. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. Well, we left Sarong this morning. We have a generator and engine, everything's going. And I look real terrible because we've been sick for about a week. So, starting to feel good today. We left today and um, until today we couldn't move or do anything. We were all just whacked. We don't know what got us, but something in Sarong just knocked us for six. And um, Lee is a little bit achy still, so we're going to put him in a bar. I found some Epsom salts. And he's gonna have a bath. If you haven't seen our bath yet, well, you're in for a real treat, guys. Catalpa is truly the luxury yacht including her own bar. I think I was holding the camera way too close to my face. Sorry. We have come about 50 nautical miles to Ar Arabarek, Arabarek Island uh, up in Rajampa. So we're in Rajampa. There's supposed to be manta rays here. Nalakaya came yesterday. Uh, another boat, Carissi, that we met, American family. Uh, they've been here for a couple of days and um, so we're going to catch up with all of them again and go diving and have some fun. We're so excited because we've been sick and we've been stuck in Sarong and we've just, oh, everything's been real crap for a few days. So, so pumped, so pumped to be here and have some good times. But first of all, we're going to get this captain feeling better. So we're going to chuck him in a bath. Oh, leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand we dropped the anchor and man, it felt good to be back out of the islands with our mates. So we've arrived at Abarak Island. Um, we thought last night was gonna be horrible because uh, we're anchored pretty in a pretty open area and there's a lot of current and um, we thought it, we could have had a bad night, but we actually didn't, so that was lucky. Um, today we are gonna go for a snorkel at the pier here. It's supposed to be a really cool little snorkel, so heaps of fish and all these other things pretty excited haven't been in the water for that long i'm so excited still a little bit drained um not don't have a lot of energy and a little bit shaky so if this is shaking i apologize but um we are heading off right now we're gonna go have a little a little bit of a snorkel around get in the ocean ah oh, it's gonna feel so great I'm so stoked these guys are back together again and with two new mates, Charlie and Carla from the boat Carice. This is just what I needed, some vitamin C.
If I was a doctor, I would prescribe the ocean to everyone. This might just be my favourite snorkel. Swimming through the fish was magical. Arabek Island is a tourist island with incredible scuba diving close by. It is also a place for marine conservation. These guys are planting coral. Mum and Dad went for a scuba dive, but Taj and I felt a little blocked up in our sinuses, so we gave it a miss. Bright flashing by the street lights Keep waiting till you've arrived Let it unfold Let it unfold Mum went down and this is her signalling that her ears felt a little bit funny. Maybe she couldn't equalise properly. I keep waiting she stayed at this step, took her time, and well, eventually came good. The dive was pretty, but they were looking for manta rays, but didn't see any of the steps. But it was so nice to be back under the water blowing bubbles. We moved anchorages today. So well, apparently there's a sign over there that says no swimming, crocodiles. So uh, we won't be swimming in here, I guess. Just finding somewhere we can anchor. Um, I think you can anchor where well, you anchor and then you stern tie to a tree, maybe. We're not sure. We'll work something out. The water's pretty clear. There's mangroves, but there are crocodiles apparently. So, no swimming. It's a little fishy. I don't know if you can see, it looks like a little leaf, but it's a little fish down there. A little yellow fishy, just swimming along. Just coming over to have a look over here because it's. Really cool, we're in amongst mangroves and the water's clear. Whispers in the morning, whispers wakes me up. I can hear your words today, whispers that you're mine. I don't need anyone to tell me that you're not. Cause when you whisper to me, darling, I can't get enough. You know how to read. The boys went to the outer reef and had some luck. Nice mackerel, Liam. Oh. Nice. Dad is showing Liam how to clean and prepare the squid. Chop behind or chop in front of the eyes. Hey, Cass, you can pop out the eyes. The size of that squid. I don't know. How, how did you um? How did you spear it? Oh, look at the size of them. I know, but 
There was there was bigger ones. There was ones like this big. It was like monsters. Then you cut back about this far. Mm. Cut back about there. Yeah, you can put it in oh, there. Well, come out. There's a bait bucket, mate. Kind of. <laughs> Pull that thing out. Oh. Backbone. Right. So when I when I grabbed it, as tentacles come around, as I grabbed my arm. Yeah, Didn't I grab the boat too, Bella? Oh yeah. Some I people eat it. all this, but I don't like it. No, yeah, no. I'll just get rid of it. Yeah. So what some people do is they don't they get a knife and they just on the blunt <laughs> side of the knife and go like that. Mm -hmm. But I prefer not to do that. Just go like that. So you run your thumb over it <laughs> underneath. You could probably use all this for bait if you want to. Oh, I chopped out that much of the hair off. You fold it inside out and clean away any more of the goobly bits. And bam, you got some squid to make into calamari, which we'll show you next time because we forgot to film it this time. So today we're having a go at foil boarding. Chrissy's got two foil boards on their boat, so um, we're going to go out and have a bit of a go. Chuck was our excellent teacher today and he talked us through how to ride. Mum was up first and didn't really get the hang of it straight away. Sarah. Oh, really Liam was a natural but still took a few stacks. Even though we all had plenty of pulls, we had plenty of encouragement from everyone watching. Yes! Oh! You got it! You got it! That's good. You did great. We tried another board as we had the three dinghies and well, the green board we all did much better on. Our new American friends were super impressed. Oh my God, I can't believe <laughs> this. Ali giving the yellow banana a whirl and it was mum's turn on the green machine. Mum finally got it and had some fun cruising around. was up and he ate it a few times but nailed it.
Here's our guru Chuck showing us how it's done. You look real cute in that little helmet. <laughs> Maybe a water start will be easier. Yep, I got it. No, no, I... Yep, no, no, I don't. Try again, and then I got it. turn and like everyone else a few fools but then she got it pretty good. We had so much fun thanks to the crew from Carice for the fun day. Thanks for watching another episode. We'll see you next time.